Hello, good morning, myself. I am BSR Botany Lecturer. Today, our topic mono hybrid cross. So, the hybridization experiment based on only one character called mono hybrid cross. Here, only one character, what I am taking stem height. So, the plants may be tall or dwarf. So, this tall plant, I am taking the parent as homozygous tall. Homozygous tall means there the alleles are similar. Here also the alleles are similar, small tt, here capital tt. You know, here the gamete containing only one type of allele. This is the gamete, capital T. Here the gamete containing only one type of allele, that is small t. When we made cross between these two gametes, what is the F1 hybrid, capital T, small t. It is not homozygous, it is heterozygous. Why? Which contain dissimilar alleles, capital T and small t. So the F1 hybrid, you just observe, capital T small t is there, it looks like a tall plant. Phenotypically, it is a tall plant, but genotypically which contain both tall character and dwarf character. It is a purely recombinant, but there is no homozygous tall and homozygous dwarf in F1 generation. So that is why these plants are heterozygous, these plants are tall plants, phenotypically tall plants, how many offsprings are forming four, all these are phenotypic ratio is one is to zero, all are tall, no dwarf, genotypically only capital T, small t, there is no other genotypic condition. Whereas these F1 hybrids are formed by the artificial cross pollination means they are formed by the hybridization but when we conduct self pollination in the f1 hybrids so look at here this is the f1 hybrid self pollination i am conducting the self pollination f1 hybrid means here two types of alleles are forming capital t small t capital t small t so dissimilar alleles are there so that is why two types of gametes are forming but here only one type of gamete is forming because here homozygous, it is heterozygous. So these are the two gametes, these are the two gametes, male and you take these are the female, then take female and male. So the capital T, capital T fused to form capital T, T, capital T, small t fused to form capital T, small t, capital T, small t fused to form capital T, small t, small t, small t fused to form small t, small t. It means four offsprings are formed in that one is homozygous tall, two are heterozygous tall, one is homozygous dwarf. So homozygous tall, only one, capital T, T. Heterozygous tall, two. Homozygous dwarf, one. So that is why the phenotypic ratio when you observe, this is tall plant, tall plant, tall plant, how many are tall? Three tall. One is dwarf, phenotypically, physical appearance. Whereas when you go to genotypic ratio, one is homozygous tall, two are heterozygous tall, one is homozygous dwarf. So then the heading is parental type. How many are parental type? Four are forming. Homozygous tall, it is one parent. Homozygous dwarf, this is one. So that is why parental types, how many are there? Recombinants, how many are there? Two. Recombinants are two. Parental types are two out of four. So that is why Gregor John Mendel proposed two laws. Law of dominance, law of segregation. Law of dominance, look at here. This is the heterozygous. Dissimilar alleles are there, capital T, small t. When dissimilar alleles are present, only one allele express their character. Here, capital T, small t is there. Only capital T expressing the character. It is the dominated character. So that is why the law of dominance is, means when the plant is in heterozygous, it means when the dissimilar alleles are present, in that uh, mainly only one allele express the character that is called law of dominance 
And next one, law of segregation. Look at here. This is one gamete. This is one other gamete. The gamete receives only one allele. The gamete is receiving only one type of allele. There is no blending. There is no matching. Here, gamete receiving only one type of allele. That is called law of segregation. So, based on the monohybrid cross, he proposed two laws. What is the term? Law of dominance and law of segregation. Law of dominance means when the plant is in heterozygous, you know here, dissimilar alleles are present in that only one allele expressing the character. And the second law is law of segregation. The gamete receiving only one type of allele. There is no match, there is no blending. So this is monohybrid. Thank you, thank you.